Hello everybody, this is Melanie. Welcome back to Crafting Chaos with Melanie. In today's video, we are going to take these Dollar Tree stockings and add some names to them. So if you would like to watch and see how I do that, just continue on with the video. All right, guys. In today's video, we are going to be making some name tags for these Dollar Tree stockings. So let me just say, first of all, Dollar Tree definitely upped their game this year. And I wanted to do something different for work this year. We've had the same stockings for several, several years. And they're not looking the greatest. And one thing, working in the restaurants, um, you do have turnover. So a lot of the names change. So this year, I wanted to do something to where they could take their name at the end of the season home with them and have a little maybe an ornament for the christmas tree and then we could keep using these these um stockings um all year round so what we're going to do first of all aren't these beautiful these are such beautiful stockings i love them i think they're gorgeous all right so what i did is i took to design space so how i'm going to do these today is a design space file it's shared and if I can link it, I will link it below. So I hope this gives you some inspiration. If you don't have a Cricut, it would be very easy to cut some tags and decorate it um, and just kind of get some inspiration from the video. So it comes in three different pieces. So you have the tag, you have a top piece, a layered piece, and then the names. So really quick, what we're going to do this turns out so pretty. Now, I will tell you, this is a little bit intricate. Um, and I, I'm not going to use that. That is Art Glitter Glue. And I normally use Art Glitter Glue, but Art Glitter Glue, it dries kind of fast. Um, and barely Art Glue gives you a little bit more time to play around. And with this much, see all the lines in the intricate? intricacy I can't talk you do want to make sure you get this glued down and with the art glitter glue I'm afraid it would dry before I got done so all I'm doing here is just putting some glue so how was everybody's Thanksgiving I had an amazing Thanksgiving my son one of my sons got to come in and his girlfriend Beth and they cooked dinner. So Brandon and Maggie, my daughter, really took over the kitchen Thanksgiving. And I worked um, to two. So I worked a full shift. And it was crazy. So needless to say, I was tired when I got home. All right. So what I have found is line up on this one. I decided to go with like a cream and black. Now I'll tell you the black card stock is Recollections, 65 pound. And the, like, I don't know what color you call this, is from um, Joann's. I'll look it up and link it below. It is my favorite, like off white, white, almost, I don't know what you call it. It's just a beautiful color. If you want something other than white, and I'm not a big fan of Michael's cream. I think it's got too much of a yellow tint to it. I found this, and I know it's basil, but I just don't know what it is. It's so pretty. Look at that. Oh my gosh, I love it already. I love it already. Okay, I'm just going to put this to the side. I cut out several of these. And then I went in Design Space, and I cut out some names of my co-workers. Now, I'll tell you, the font that I used... It's a little bit intricate. Actually, it's a lot of intricate. I wish I hadn't quite went this intricate, but it is what it is, and we're going to go with it. I've already done one, and I am a stickler for everything looking the way it's supposed to look. All right, now, when you put her name on here where it's the black, I think it blends too much. So let me show you what we're going to do. I have my little box here. I think I can get that in screen. And I'm going to put this down. I've already got some water ready. And I'm going to take some of this metallic. 
okay? And I am just going to give it a good little That probably works out better. Just a good little there. You know, so to pop a little bit more. Oh, I love that. Guys, I'm telling you, if you haven't got this off Amazon, and I am using the, the darker gold, I tend to gravitate towards these um, and not so much of this yellow gold, but I decided to use this one this today because I need to use it, right? Oh, what a difference this is going to make. This makes such a difference. Okay, now. Look at that. It just makes it pop, right? So let me get this. And I did get some on here. That's okay. You know what we're going to do? We're just going to go ahead. We're going to go with it. And let me get a piece of paper here. So it doesn't really matter. If I get it on my desk, I hadn't intended on doing this, but we're going to do it. We're just going to put a little bit on there. There we go. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh my gosh. I love it. Love it. All right. So do I have a paper towel here? A paper towel would be really good right now. And I don't think I brought one in here. Shoot. Okay. We're just going to go with it. All right, now let's bring Lauren's name up here. Look at that. Guys, this is so pretty. Okay, let me see if I have my tweezers here. Tweezers would be good. You know, every time I do a video, I try to have everything right at my fingertips. And every time I do a video, there's always something that I need. All right, I found some tweezers. So we're going to... Now, the this right here, I'm going to get the art glitter glue because I think I can get this one and the great thing about the art glitter glue and the barely art I guess does the same is it really does dry clear so when it's this intricate you know if you get a little bit of glue outside and and you're going to do it I'm just telling you there's just no way of not doing it boy if you don't you're good now, if you're watching this and you're a stamper and you don't have a Cricut, then just cut out a tag. These are seven inches long and three or two and a half inches wide. So just cut you out a seven inch long tag, stamp you out a snowflake. I mean, the sky's the limit. And I'm just going to go very slow with this because of the intricacy. Boom. Oh, this is pretty. I love this. Oh, look at that. Do you see it? Now, um, I want a little something on this snowflake. Now, I did get this a little Cricut. Guys, it's handmade. It's going to be, it's not going to be perfect. It's just not. We want, I have, oh, right here they are. I have this big jar of pearls. Do you see that? I love my jar of pearls. And we are going to get out a pearl and put a pearl on this. Are we going to go big? I think we're going to go big. Let's just get one because that's such a big, yep, that's what we're doing. Okay, can you see that? So let me just put some art glitter glue on this. You could use hot glue. Art glitter glue is a pretty good glue. I'm just going to hold that a second. Now, I have debated back and forth on whether to do a bow at the top. I haven't decided yet. I haven't decided as far as a bow. But let me tie this on the stocking and show you. And I'll put a picture at the end of the video um, so you can see it. Guys, aren't these pretty? Seriously. I mean, they're not super duper thick, but they're not thin either. The ones we had before, they're so thin you could just about see through them. But these are really nice. So I got these for the girls. And I got these for the for the guys. Don't you? I love it. I just think they're beautiful. I love them. Love them, love them, love them. 
Okay, so I got my little crochet thread here. Got this at Goodwill for like $4, I think, maybe less than that. So let's just get our crochet. And what I'm going to do is, how did I do? Okay. I'm just going to take it through. My hands are a mess today, guys. I have been crafting all day. I've been making some stuff for my trees and my tables. All right, so then all I did was take this up here through the red hoop. All right, we're just gonna take this up here. You might be more creative. You could do beads here if you wanted to make it, you know, um, something a little bit more fancy, I guess you could say, a little fanciness. This is all I'm going to do. Put a knot, got a knot, and I'm just going to cut this. And look, there you go. How pretty is that? I just think this is so pretty. All right, let me show you the one I did earlier. I'm going to have to go back and put some more gold on this one. Here's the one that I did earlier. So I do like the gold. I like the gold. Let's see if I can do this real quick without getting it all over the stocking here. Let's see. Let's just give this a whirl. There we go. That'll work. Let's see. Oh, it's so pretty. What do you think? I love it. Look at those. I just think these are so pretty. I love it. Let me tell you what we're going to focus on this next week. Um, I'm going to try to get a Sunday video up. Um, I'm going to try to work on that tonight into tomorrow evening. I'm a little bit behind because of the holiday, um, because of Thanksgiving. But I want to work on um, giftables. And I want to bring in the scrapbooking part and the frame part. And I want to do an ornament for the tree. Now, the ornament for the tree will probably be Wednesday's video. Um I want to do a really good job on that one and show you how to use a template and um, make this just beautiful photo ornament for your Christmas tree. And I think it's important like this next week to do it because most people are putting up all that right now. You know, most people it's after Thanksgiving and everybody's getting everything up. Um, so that's what we're going to do. Uh, I do have a lot of cards made. Um, I send out a lot of Christmas cards. I give out a lot of Christmas cards. So what I think I'm going to do on that is a recap video. And I'm going to show you all the different Christmas cards I've made. Um, some of them will have a tutorial. Some of them, you know, they're pretty self-explanatory. So I'm excited to do that. That'll probably be next weekend. Guys, can you believe we're talking about Christmas? Insane. All right. I'm going to go ahead and end this video. If you like this video, then give me a like and subscribe. I would love it. Um, we're almost to 500. That's my first milestone. Um, I think I checked this morning and I needed seven more subscribers. So if you have any crafty friends and you know that they like paper crafting and, you know, doing um, crafting with their hands, then just, you know, send them to my channel. I would love, love, love for you to share it. All right, guys, I hope y'all have a wonderful day and we'll see you Sunday. Bye.